Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is our post-inspire video series with the aim of equipping you for the next step. You came to inspire, you encounter Jesus, he unearthed some things in your life, and now maybe you're wondering, okay, what do I do with this? What's the next step? In the next few weeks here, we're gonna release some videos where you hear, again, personal stories and testimonies that will give you the inspiration and the motivation and the tools that you need to go further with the Lord. Thank you for tuning in. I'm here with Dennis. He, uh, he has been with YWIM for 11 and a half years. Make sure you add the half to him, it's important. But give us a little snapshot, bro. Like, what's, what's your story? How did you end up here? Uh, well, I grew up in a Christian home, and so I grew up with that upbringing, knowing a lot about God. Mm -hmm. So from a young age, I had this fear of the Lord, wanting to do right. Um, but when I was younger, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I was good with academics, but didn't really have a drive to do any of those things. And uh, a friend of mine came back from doing his DTS in between my eighth and ninth grade year. And he just shared. He got a lot of young people together, who had a fun night. But at the end of it, he said that, um, that God wants more for you than just to believe what your parents believe or for you to sit on the pew of the church. Mm -hmm. But he wants to have a relationship with you and use you to change the world. Wow. And that gripped my heart. Um, it filled that spot of what do I do, what do I want to be when I grew up. And so that wrecked my life. We started this youth ministry, but actually the very next spring we visited YWAM for a similar conference we used to have. You remember, mm -hmm. Take Action. I remember, um, good old days. Good times. Um, and we had an awesome day, but at the end of Take Action, the Lord spoke to me. Mm -hmm. And he said, Dennis, this is where I want you to be. So after that, it didn't matter. Uh, scholarships, college, all the things that people say you have to have. And I graduated high school, and I came here, and I've been here since then. So you're pretty determined early on. Is that just your personality? You kind of cling on to stuff like this, and then you yeah, with it? Yeah, I think when I know that it's God. Mm -hmm. Before then, sometimes it's hard. Um, commitment, because well, what if I'm, I'm kind of a perfectionist? Or I can be, that can be my weakness, and so I want to see the options and know what to do before I really commit to it. Mm -hmm. But the times in my life where the Lord has really said something, um, and I know that it's Him, man, because like Peter said, Lord, you alone have the words of life. And so there's really no other choice when you know that you know that God's told you to do something. Well, speaking to the Dennis, I mean, this is for people who came to Inspire. You guys met Jesus, you've been unearthed by Him, and now you're trying to walk this journey out. You said something here when you know that it's God. Mm -hmm. Speak into that a little bit in your personal experience. How do you know mm -hmm. when it's God? How, how do you hear His voice? Yeah, well, yeah, God is faithful. And when we're seeking him, like he wants to speak to us. Mm. And so and that's huge. Yeah. I mean, that alone is huge. We've got to linger on that for a second. Mm -hmm. He does want to speak to us. Mm -hmm. you know, there's a scripture in John 10 about the shepherd. Yeah. He, he says, I'm, I'm your good shepherd and you're my sheep and my sheep hear my voice. Mm -hmm. Like just that, that was revolutionary for me too in my DTS. Just the idea that this great creator of the universe actually wants to say yeah. something to me. Totally. Yeah. It's huge. So I think it starts with that. It's, if you don't believe that he wants to speak with you, mm -hmm. then I think you're less likely to hear the enemy wants to throw doubt there. All this is all this noise is out there. Yeah. So you have to know that your father wants to speak to you. Mm -hmm. He loves you, and he says that in his word. And then once you know that, you got to be persistent. And so uh, why wouldn't we have a great teaching? I'm not going to give it to you right now. But um, we hear God's voice through prayer, mm -hmm. by his spirit. We we hear it through his word. Um, sometimes you're thinking about something, and something jumps off the TV screen or you hear something, there's wise counsel, there's even prophetic words. And so being diligent to persevere, even when you're not hearing, um, but then when you do hear, writing those things down. So if I'm praying about something, I, hear, yeah. I feel like maybe God's speaking to me, I might come to somebody pastoral in my life and say, hey, I, I'm, I feel like I'm hearing this. Mm -hmm. And the pieces begin to work together. And I just said this, but writing things down is super important. Mm -hmm. Because the doubt, the enemy, distractions, other passions are going to try to come in and steal that. But if you write it down, then you can always go back to that mm -hmm. and go with what he spoke. Well, it, it values God's word too when you write it down and you keep records of it so you can yeah. go back to it. So what I'm hearing you say, D, is like in this journey, sometimes you feel like you're in the cloud. But as long as your heart knows that your father will mm -hmm. lead you and will speak to you, uh, that even in those times where it's hard to hear, mm -hmm. you know he's there, yeah. and you know his hands guide you, like a good shepherd, the sheep. Kind of I think that's important, guys. If you, in your journey in this, there will be times where you're like, man, where am I going? There's going to be questions. Like you mentioned, things like college and scholarships and, and so many options and noise from everywhere. 
as long as you know that, that, that the God who created the heavens and the earth wants to speak <laughs> and wants to reveal himself to you and guide you. That's his desire, amen? Mm -hmm. And he did it in, in Dennis's life and we'll do it in yours. Just real quick at the end, Yadi, I know you have a passion for prayer, mm -hmm. which in my understanding is prayer is us talking to God mm -hmm. and God talking to us, sort of the yeah. conversation thing. Prayer and worship, <clears throat> a daily, give us, give us just a nugget. If I want to walk out my life unearthed before Jesus, what's the role of prayer and worship in that? Mm -hmm. Well, the most important thing that prayer and worship have in common is intimacy. Mm -hmm. It's staying connected mm -hmm. with God. Yeah. And that's the most important thing. And so making prayer and worship a priority in your life, I think, is super important. Now, it may look different in different seasons. Some seasons you might be having hour quiet times every morning. And sometimes you're, the kids are napping and you're washing dishes and that's when you're having time. Amen. But to prioritize that time with God, yeah. um, like you said, Yash, prayer is talking to God, it's expressing yourself. Mm. But then it's taking time to hear Him. If you want to hear God's voice, you have to listen. You have to give Him time to, to speak to you. Mm. And with worship, um, I love worship because that's, that's pouring out your adoration, your love, your affection on the one who's worthy of it. Mm. And he's, he's so worthy of it and it increases that intimacy, but also, I love one thing actually you taught me years ago, Yash, but worship is about having eternal perspective. Wow. It's lifting your eyes from what's ever in front of you that seems so big to the one who's bigger than it all. And those things are still there. They don't always disappear, but they shrink mm. in, in size and the impact that it has on your heart because you're, you're filled with the impact of who he is. And worship will actually help you, I believe, to hear God's voice and to walk out the things Come on, that, he, yeah, that he's already spoken to you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, here you go, guys. Just a couple of things here from Dennis in this in this video. Make, he said, make prayer and worship a priority. Mm -hmm. Whatever that means for you. If you want to be walking before the Lord in an unearthed way, uh, in a vulnerable way before Jesus, regardless of the challenges and the things that are coming your way, pray. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Find that time of meditation. The word uses the... The Bible uses the word meditation, you know, meditate on the Lord, meditate on Jesus, pray, uh, pray for things even outside of yourself, mm -hmm. right? Not just for your own needs, but begin to intercede, they call it, intercession, to pray for something else, somebody else, for another nation. And the more you do that, the more you develop a heart for that stuff mm -hmm. too. Totally. So worship and prayer is priority, guys. You, you, and, and just remember the Father wants to and will speak to you. God bless you guys.